Just what are these water turtles doing walking around on land? Digging a nest, of course. Hey everybody, Christina here. Even though terrapins are brackish water turtles that spend their lives primarily in the water, like all reptiles, they need to come onto land to lay their eggs. Fortunately, Poplar Island's restoration efforts has made it a very popular site for nesting diving back terrapins. The female terrapins will come out of the water when they're about seven years old to find a place to build their nest, and Poplar Island has an abundance of appealing nesting habitat. In this video, I was able to catch up with the Ohio University turtle crew who combed the island in the spring and summer looking for nesting females and any new nests to monitor. Let's take a look and see what they have found. Got one? Yep. Cool. So this is the nest right here. The one we believe is the nest. So what we do when we find a nest like this is we dig and when we're digging we lead with our finger sort of probing the ground because when a turtle nests she digs in last shaped egg chamber and what we're trying to do is find that soft spot in the sand where the, the neck of the, the top of the flask is and that will lead us right to where the nest and the eggs are. Typically what we do is sort of excavate carefully There it is, right there. This looks pretty deep. Once we locate the nest, the first thing we do is we dig down and we try to locate the top egg. Come here and look carefully. You can see the top egg of the nest. And what you'll notice is that that top egg is sort of a translucent pinkish color. And that tells us that the nest is less than 24 hours old and means that it's safe to actually dig it up and we can weigh and count the total number of eggs. If that egg had a white chalky appearance to it, then it would be an old nest. And old nests we don't excavate. And the reason for that is during the incubation process, within about 24 hours, the turtles form a membrane around the growing embryo inside the egg. What happens is once that embryo forms, if you roll or move the eggs, you increase the likelihood of killing the embryo inside the egg. So we don't dig those nests up. We just locate the nest and find them and protect them using the hardware claw. This nest is a very fresh nest and we can dig this nest up, count and weigh all the eggs. Okay, so guys, let's set up the balance. The first thing we do when we find the nest is we measure the depth of the nest to the top egg. And the way we do that is we take one of our surveying flags that we mark the nest with and simply lay it across the opening of the nest and then slide the ruler down and gently touch that top egg that we located. And then this is 13 centimeters. Okay. Then we simply, once we've got that measurement, we start to remove the eggs as carefully as we can. We try to leave that flask shaped chamber as intact as possible so that we can place the nest back with minimal disturbance. So Hunter is weighing each of the individual eggs. We weigh them to a tenth of a gram and before we weigh them we try to take off the extra sand the sand, of course, has weight too, and we don't want to include that in our measurements. 9.8. So once we get the last egg out, you can See, there are no more eggs in there. We've had to increase the size of the neck a little bit because I have big hands and it makes it difficult to dig turtled eggs out. But once we finish digging all the eggs out, we place the flag again across the top of the nest and then measure the depth to the bottom of the nest. 
and David, this is 16 and a half centimeters. And then what we do is very carefully grab the eggs. You can see clearly the translucent pinkish color. If they were white and chalky, we wouldn't be able to do this. But one of the things that's really neat about turtle eggs is turtle eggs have soft, flexible shells, and you can actually dimple the shell. And you can see my finger actually pushing in and deforming the shell. And when they're fresh eggs like this, you can do that. It doesn't hurt the embryos at all. Here you can see an egg with an actual dimple in it. You can move that dimple around. And that's because they have a soft, flexible shell. They don't have a hard shell like a chicken egg does. Now you can see all of the eggs inside the nest. Put the last one in here. Okay. And then we carefully put the sand back. Try not to fill up all the space between the eggs with the sand. Hunter just took a GPS location of the nest, covered the nest back up just like Mama Turtle did. Put a little, I usually put something right there to, so I know where the center of the nest is because right now David's going to hand me a screen that we're going to use to lay over and protect the nest from the peak um, birds. We have crows and black birds that like to dig up turtle nests and eat the egg. So simply laying this little piece of screen over the nest prevents it, them from doing that. Thank you, sir. Can you try to lay this flat over the sand or maybe even bury it a little bit? And then use the four flags. On the flags we have written a nest number, so this is the 113th nest that we found so far, and then the date that the nest was found, so 8 July. And then we just put that right in flags to hold the uh, screening, and we're done. Thanks Willem and the Turtle Crew. Every year the Turtle Crew will locate on average over 200 nests and around 800 hatchlings all around the island. With the highest count we've ever had being over 1600 hatchlings collected in a single season. Now the 2020 season had a little bit of a slower start due to health and safety restrictions related to COVID-19 and the cold wet weather we had in the spring. But hatchlings will start showing up early August so watch for our next video to find out how the season went. See you soon.